Time for the Chapter 3 Breakdown. Chapter 2 was a shorter chapter by design. Chapter 3 runs about 13 minutes longer than Chapter 2, for multiple reasons. The first reason was covered in the last breakdown. I moved the last part of Chapter 2 which was Chris and Duran's double date with Anna and Brandy to this chapter due to a continuity issue that I discovered later on. Second, I extended Chris' trip to the Andiron universe. It takes up a good portion of the chapter, and it took quite a while to finalize back when I first wrote it. I wanted to stay true to Chaotic Universe's new plot, but I also wanted to pay tribute to the original template and include some of its elements. Right here is where business will start to pick up as far as the Andiron universe is concerned. Because of this going forward, some of the plot points and the settings will be left behind. It may seem like they were important at the time, but unfortunately only existed to get us here now. I will break it all down. Also the characters of the Andiron universe are separate plot points and are treated as different characters from the ones you have already been introduced to in the first two chapters. Since the original template drives this chapter this breakdown may end up being a bit long, but it's necessary. Three terms to look out for. Real life inspiration, source material, alternate universe plot, original template, finalized plot, chaotic universe. The title of the chapter is Alternate Way inspired by the original template that I created before Chaotic Universe. This was not the original title though, at first I titled it, Night and Day, to point out that it was night in the normal universe, and day in the Andiron universe. Chapter 3 picks up the next day, which is Saturday meaning no school. Chris is thinking about what Iraya told him the previous night. He wanted to tell Duran, but decides not to at the last second. In the afternoon, Tanya and her friends are having lunch together while attempting to plan how to deal with the events of Chapter 2. At the end of their conversation they are informed that Chris will be going to the mall that night on a date with Anna. Tanya implies that she will be there by her response to this information. A few hours later Chris picks up Duran, Anna, Brandy and they head to the mall to start their evening out. Anna and Brandy request to know more about Chris' past with Dane. Once they arrive at the mall Chris briefly summarizes his connection to Dane. When the date starts Chris and Anna go on as if it is not a double date. The two go their own way while Duran and Brandy follow close behind. Eventually Chris and Anna lose Duran and Brandy. Chris and Anna go to see a fortune teller and have an interesting experience. Following this Duran and Brandy catch up and an angry Brandy demands to know why Chris and Anna keep ditching them. After things are settled Tanya shows up and also wants to know more about Dane. From here the date ends and Chris returns home. When he falls asleep Araya once again appears wondering where his partner is. After telling her that he didn't have one, Araya aids him in traveling to the Andiron universe through astral projection. I will not summarize what follows Chris' arrival in the Andiron universe here. That portion and the end of chapter 3 needs breaking down more than summarizing. I will do so during the plot points. First plot point, Tanya and company. Because of Chris' travel to the Andiron universe. They only appear early in the chapter and towards the end. Wanting to know more about Dane and the syndicate, Tanya suggests keeping a closer eye on Chris. After receiving information that Chris was going on a date, Tanya eventually finds Chris. She demands to know more about the syndicate. Chris tells her what he knows. Tanya seemingly unsatisfied with what she was told, lets Chris know that she is going after Dane and the syndicate alone. This chapter focuses more on Tanya than her friends I will explain. Why later on? Following Chris' trip to the Andiron universe Tanya goes after the syndicate alone. Most of her actions here are independent of her group. By the end of the chapter, Tanya shows Chris that she is not alternate Tanya in any way. Second plot point, I thought this was a double date. The main characters here are Chris, Duran, Anna, and Brandy. After eating the date begins, Chris and Anna go on their date as if Duran and Brandy are not there. Remember Chris promised Anna that they would be alone for their date in chapter 2, but Duran pays Anna to act as if it was a double date so that Brandy would go on the date with him. Once Duran and Brandy catch up to them, Anna acts as if she didn't know it was a double date. Brandy turns her attention to Duran, who admits his interest in her. After sharing a laugh, Tanya shows up ending the date. This plot point served the purpose of bringing the previously unconnected Duran and Brandy somewhat closer together. This portion of the chapter was originally a part of the end of chapter 2. It was added to chapter 3 so that Chris would not open the chapter traveling to the Andiron universe. Third plot point, the Andiron universe. This is important and will spawn a couple of subplot points that will follow this. First the travel. Astral projection is an out-of-body experience, experience during sleep. From here it is possible to travel to the Andiron universe by swapping the mind and soul of each counterpart. That is if the traveler has an alternate. The traveler must be ready to return before the body in the normal universe wakes up or both will die. During the normal universe's night time, the Andiron universe's daytime is the previous day. Twelve hours behind the normal universe. 
This is why Chris goes to school in his alternate's place during this part of the chapter. When Chris arrives, he appears in the same house in the same room. When he goes downstairs his alternate family is actually there together. Chris also goes to the same school, but he is a star basketball player. When he arrives at practice, his best friend alternate Duran is there and is his teammate. Shortly following, we are introduced to alternate Crystal and alternate Amber, the girlfriends of alternate Chris and alternate Duran. Alternate Tanya approaches Chris shortly after, but before we get to the Andiron Universe's characters some clarification. All of the Andiron Universe's characters that appear are referred to as alternate. It should be clear now that this universe's world is physically the same and physically the people are the same, but certain details and character involvement are slightly different or non-existent. Chris witnesses Switchfire turn her body into flames, something that is impossible in the normal universe, but this shows that control of the Earth's elements are possible in the Andiron universe. The time passes by exactly the same as the normal universe just on opposite ends. I have placed a picture of an example of two Andirons holding wood in a burning fireplace. The left Andiron represents the Andiron universe, the fire represents the sun, and the right Andiron represents the normal universe. The sun does not burn without both universes existing. In the original template, the Andiron universe was called the alternate universe, while the normal universe was only referred to as our universe. Subplot point, alternate Duran. His role in alternate Chris life is the same as his normal counterpart. He is a support system as well as a trusted confidant. Although he looks and talks like Duran, his personality is different. Alternate Duran is less focused on his schoolwork and more focused on he and alternate Chris' reputation. And from his words he is prepared to do anything to maintain this reputation at the expense of the freaks and geeks, also known as the non-popular students. Alternate Duran also has a girlfriend alternate Amber. Similar to Duran, alternate Duran attempts to get Chris to stop focusing on alternate Tanya and focus more on alternate Crystal. Alternate Duran is important here because his reactions to Chris' behavior during his time in the Andiron universe give us an idea of what alternate Chris' life is like compared to his counterpart. His character also affects the importance of almost every alternate character represented in this chapter. The alternate Duran character did not appear in the original template. Subplot point, alternate Tanya. Her character represents some of what Tanya would have been in the original template. Alternate Tanya is introduced about midway through the chapter. She does not know alternate Chris but knows of him being the school's star basketball player. She is at his practice because she is the head writer of the school paper. Despite not knowing alternate Chris she approaches him at lunch. She intends to write her final project about him. Alternate Tanya accompanies Chris to his fifth period class in order to find out more about him. After a small disagreement, alternate Tanya admits that she is attracted to him despite not really knowing him. Chris invites her to his alternate's next basketball game knowing that he wouldn't be there by then. Alternate Tanya questions what alternate Crystal will think about that. Alternate Tanya is also important, because she too based upon her words throughout her appearance gives you a small idea of what alternate Chris is really like. She consistently stereotypes Chris basically labeling him as a dumb jock. Alternate Tanya is most likely attracted to him because of his social status, because she does not have any real past with alternate Chris unlike her counterpart. During this chapter her counterpart is highlighted in order to show the reader the difference between the two characters' personalities. Subplot point, alternate Crystal. Alternate Chris' girlfriend. She was mentioned more than she appeared, but she plays a key role in alternate Chris not knowing alternate Tanya. She too gives us a small snapshot of what alternate Chris is like. Since alternate Duran implies that she controls him, alternate Chris is more than likely not as interdependent as Chris is. Her counterpart is the announcer of the Gundam tournament from chapters 1 and 2. Since Crystal does not appear in the school setting of the normal universe, comparing the two is difficult. But alternate Crystal's presence in alternate Chris' life is the balance that will always keep his counterpart away from both Tanyas. The Crystal character is inspired by the source material and was originally in the template as alternate Chris' best friend and semi-love interest. She was a main character in the template playing a larger role in the story. When I created the Anna character for the finalized plot, her character was scrapped and repackaged into her chapter 1 and 2 appearances, and her alternates appearance in chapter 3. Her character's appearances are brief, and she does not appear again following this chapter in her normal or alternate selves. But if I find a way, she could appear in Chaotic Universe 2. Subplot point. Changes of events that led to certain alternate characters not appearing in the chapter. Alternate Duran not leaving after he and alternate Chris sophomore year. This results in alternate Chris not meeting alternate Brandy, alternate Tanya, and alternate Anna, as well as anyone else from the junior year version of the Wolfpack. Alternate Brandy does not appear at all, since she did not show up until after halfway through school in the normal universe. You can assume that she wasn't even going to alternate Chris school in the Andiron universe. 
This is inspired by both the original template and the source material because there was no Brandy character in any universe. Alternate Anna, she does appear but briefly, and most importantly doesn't. No alternate Chris. There was no alternate Anna character in the original template but, I threw her in there to have the girl that Chris is dating in his universe become a complete stranger. Alternate Angela does not appear. Alternate Gabriel does not appear, and neither does alternate Daniel mainly because in the Andiron universe, alternate Tanya does not date him. Fourth plot point. Iriah. She has appeared in every chapter so far. Not much is known about her, besides appearing in what Chris believes to be a dream. That changes here. Since Chris does not choose a partner to join him, Iriah accompanies him in a physical form to the Andiron universe. Multiple times she teleports revealing that is one of her abilities. She does not immediately tell him why he is there, letting him try to adjust to the new world's differences. As Chris goes through the day, via telepathy Iriah informs him of the differences that exist in the Andiron universe. She then tells him that he must find the elemental master switch fire before the sun goes down. Now one thing to point out here, if you notice Iriah does not encourage or discourage Chris from interacting with the alternates of the Andiron universe. Once Chris is ready she teleports him to a fire spotted in the abandoned hills. Chris is cocky and provokes switch fire, who uses her fire abilities to trap him in a ring of fire. Iriah teleports him to safety but lays into him for his behavior. Here Iraya establishes herself as an authority figure charged with the safety of both universes. Fifth plot point, Chris' behavior following his trip to the Andiron universe. Now that Chris has seen and experienced the Andiron universe, he must keep it a secret because whoever finds out about it from him will be bound to defending the universes as well. He doesn't do a good job of this though. Chris insists on following Tanya as she tracks down the syndicate without her group. Daron is initially against this urging Chris to bury his past with Tanya. It has been established that Chris and Anna are starting a relationship, so him wanting to make sure Tanya doesn't go it alone is clearly due to what he experienced two nights ago. Once Anna gets involved, she attempts to tell Chris, but he insists that she does not get involved. Even after discovering her involvement by way of listening to Tanya, he does nothing to ensure that Anna does not get herself involved with the syndicate. He remains focused on Tanya. After a brief encounter with the syndicate, Chris is discovered by Tanya, and he reveals that he had been following her all day to ensure her safety. After Tanya berates him he walks away. Duran follows him, he points out Chris' strange behavior, and wants to know what's going on. Chris won't tell him, so Duran gets aggressive as if he was about to fight him. Chris still doesn't reveal anything. Chris finally caves and tells Duran about the Andiron universe ending the chapter. Sixth plot point, what Chris revealing his trip to the Andiron universe to Duran means going forward. This is important, it does not matter if Duran believes him or not, Chris still told him. So now Duran is involved with, whatever Chris is involved in. Now that Duran knows, Chris tells him everything that he knows about the Andiron universe, during the rest of the week, presumably in private. He is now tasked with making sure that no one else finds out about what he and Chris now know. This ends the chapter 3 breakdown. Chapter 4 in the finale of the Genesis saga is next. Along with Crystal many other characters will not appear following this chapter. The school setting of the normal universe will also not appear. From chapter 4 to chapter 8 of the Drasil universe saga the story will solely focus its attention on the original 8 main characters Chris, Duran, Anna, Brandy, Tanya, Gabriel, Daniel and Angela. Prepare yourself for a race to the top in the next chapter of Chaotic Universe.